Hi everyone, Dave for Quick Econ. In this video we're going to look at the difference between positive and normative economics. When speaking about economic hypotheses, the way you phrase your statement is actually a pretty big deal. And in economics we can broadly define a statement as positive or normative economics. Now when you think of the, uh, the phrase positive, you might think of something that's good or something that's true or something that you agree with. That's actually not the case. A positive economic statement is just a simple statement about what is, was, or will be. It's often written in an if-then form. If A happens, then B will follow. Now this is important because it's written or spoken in a way that allows it to be tested with data. We can use economic data, we can look at the numbers to see if the statement is true or false. And what's important to know is that it's not always true. A positive statement could be a false statement. Normative statements, on the other hand, are values, opinions, or judgments. We ask, do we think this is good or bad? And we can look for phrases like, I think we should do this, we ought to do that, or everyone should do this. It's a statement of opinion that cannot be tested to be true or false. Now the easiest way to learn about positive versus normative is to just look at a couple of examples. So examine the following statement. On average, people tend to shop at Walmart more after they get a pay raise. Now you might look at that statement and say, well that's probably false, and maybe it is, but it's still a positive statement. We can look at people's income data, we can look at shopping data, and we can see is this statement true or false. Now the following statement, everyone should shop at Walmart, that's a normative statement. We cannot test that with data. You look at that word and you see should. That's an opinion. We can't prove that true or false. Now a big pitfall with positive and normative is that we often make the mistake of looking at a normative statement and agreeing with it and therefore say that it's a positive statement. Look at the following example. Rich people need to pay more taxes. Now many of you would say, sure, that's true, I agree with that, that's positive economics. But there's some problems with that statement. Number one, the word rich is poorly defined, and also the way it's written, we can't prove or disprove it. Rich people need to pay more taxes. Well, should they? Shouldn't they? Well, we can't prove that. It's normative even though you may agree. Now if you were to rewrite that statement to say, if families with incomes over $250,000 per year paid higher taxes, overall tax revenues would increase. That is a positive statement. You can look at what happens to tax rates and tax revenues. You can see the relationship over time. It's a statement that you can test with data. Now in reality, of course, we generally prefer positive statements because we like to see if our hypotheses can be backed up with real life data and real life numbers. But normative statements do play a role in society, especially in legislation where we're examining policies with the goals of fairness in mind. And of course, fair is a normative word.